I want to show you uh, how many frames per second uh, this new the Mark IV does. So what I've done is basically I've put it, I've removed the cards, so it, it's better well suited for for the test. And then uh, I'm going to put the the ISO at six thousand four hundred and two thousand by the the the, the shutter speed. The next thing I wanted to test it was uh, the the speed of the camera. So, as you may recall, the Mark III, or in case you, do, you don't know, uh, at high ISOs, what it does, it gets very slow. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a 2000 speed with a high ISO 6400. Let's hear the Mark IV. Well, this is the Mark IV. Now let's get the Mark III and do the same. Okay, so it has the 6400. So what I've done is that I've removed the card so that we don't uh, have some misled information here on the card. So this this would be um, a much better way of uh, telling the speed and the processor of the two digit fours that are on the on the Mark IV. So as you can see, this is very 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 fast. Let's put it the test on the field, and I'll let you know later. A lot of things has been said about the, the, the ISO of the new Mark IV. So I'm going to show you what is coming on the box, that it's uh, the auto ISO feature, now it's available. And low, it's 50, then it goes from the normal modes up until 6400. Okay, now you got more 8000, 10000, 12800. Then you got the ISO, it's 25,600, then 51,200, and 100 to 400. Well, this is, is uh, basically what, what you get from the high ISO on the Mark IV. This is what you get on the, on the Mark III. You get the 50, ISO, 50 ISO, and then goes all the way to... 3200 and the i settings is 6400 uh, also both cameras uh, have the dual slot with the sd card and the cf cards here this is the mark 4 and this is the mark 3 with a mirror here and uh, also the new feature is that the uh, mark 3 now gets the ultra DMA cards so they will be faster for the video mode so now let's uh, start up the cameras and and see what we got mark 3 okay it got no card and the sensor cleaning okay now the mark 4 also no card sensor cleaning menu well as you can see even in the menu it has a uh, more contrast information here uh, I will try to put you as close as possible but then I will have to change the camera anyway it's it's basically much 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 cleaner screen and I hope the the, the, the images will come out very clean. Well, on the menu, not too much has changed. Um, you can see you have all the menu functions of the Mark III. And the same. They're all the same. Except for the video mode here at the bottom. Here, you can see the video mode here. Then you got all 
the function, the custom functions, some more custom functions. There is a, a custom function where you can change the direction of the focus point uh, concerning the orientation of the camera. That's a nice feature. Also, you have the my, my menu settings that I've changed already, but let's take a look at the, the live view movie mode. So this is the, the modes that you have now. I was hoping that Canon would put some 640 by 480 at 25 or at 24. Uh, well, at least at least it will give us uh, um, just a little bit smaller files if you are doing some uh, quick recordings of something and you do not need the the extra the extra files for this. This is for the PAL menu, and then you got the same thing on the NTSC with the correspondent frame rates. Okay, then you got them here. Hopefully the 5D will come soon with this. And that's it folks. The side by side of the Mark III and the Mark IV. Uh, hope you have enjoyed it and stay tuned on the Lighting Mods blog for more things. Uh, I'm sure I'll be putting some pictures with the IISO, some movies for you to test out, maybe some download files so you can test out and see the noise reduction and make some, some tests of your, your own. Thank you and see you next time.